there is a weird problem for people like me who want to use their awesome mirrorless camera to shoot video. You see, this thing like my Panasonic S1 has a perfect form factor, can record gorgeous 4K 60p in 10 bit and even externally in RAW. And it has awesome internal image stabilization. But this camera doesn't feature any internal NDs, so I need a solution for that. And sadly, there is no mirrorless camera on the market that both features an amazing uh, image stabilization and an internal ND. I really hate the screw on and screw off filters that you normally would use on a camera like this. And uh, solutions like the ones from Polar Pro are very, very big and also very, very expensive. Many creators like to use the magnets, but they might work for them, but I don't trust a magnetic connection. I want a secure mechanical connection when I use filters on my camera. And there doesn't seem to be any solution like that. Or maybe there is one. There is now, but I had to do it myself. Uh, some time ago I made a video about my DIY solution where I put a variable ND inside my mat box. I had to customize it a little bit and this system was okay for the first iteration that it was. But after some time and usage I found out that it was very cumbersome to use. Uh, switching lenses with a matte box isn't particularly easy or fast and also if you have a lens that extends it's not really usable at all. So I ditched this idea after a while and what I went with was a filter holder system for landscape photography that you uh, get for those 100 by 100 filters. And I took a cardboard uh, and put a step up ring inside of it so I can screw in a variable ND. This system worked fine and I used it on many shoots and I was very happy with it, but it didn't look very professional. So I thought how I can further this idea. Another problem was that with uh, this solution I had a very big gap between the end of the lens and the beginning of the filter. So wider lenses like uh, 14 millimeters and above or very big lenses with a big front element had some very strong vignetting. So it only worked for certain situations. But I used it quite a lot and I was happy with it because I was able to switch the variable in these super fast. Taking it off only takes a second. I put it in my pocket when not in use. I know that it's not really professional, but it works. And putting it back on only takes two to three seconds tops. With my latest iteration, I must say I'm super proud and happy about it. I used a big 95 millimeter variable ND and a step up ring from 86 to 95 millimeters. I removed the thread on the 86 millimeter side and sand it down to make it smooth. I also removed the filter holders from the filter holder system and glued it on with a super glue. I also had to glue a tiny piece of rubber inside the frame to make sure it doesn't rotate all around if I want to change the variable in D. Now the system fits super tight on the lens. There is no movement at all. It also looks pretty slick and professional in my opinion. And it's also still super fast and I'm super happy with that. And if I want to use a matte box, I can still put one in front of it. This doesn't really change how I work with the camera. For me personally, this makes internal ND filters something I hardly miss because it works super fast and of course it would be nice to have internal ND filters, but I can confirm that this works also in high pressure situations like weddings. For example, you are inside in the church, for example, and the ceremony ended and you want to go outside to welcome the newlyweds and while you go outside, you just put on the filter and you are ready to go just like you would engage an internal ND filter by pressing a button, for example. And what's also great is that I still have the flexibility to dial in the light that comes through the filter 
by using the variable ND, which is something that not many internal ND filters can do. This custom-made DIY filter system cost me next to nothing. The filter holder system with the holder and several uh, adapt rings for the lenses cost 50 euros. The step-up ring costs 5 euros. And since all the lenses use the same front diameter with the systems, I bought a couple of 82 mm lens caps. But if you think that's nice and all, but I only use small cameras and I want to have a smaller systems. Well, since I was at it, I also made a smaller system for my MFT lenses. I bought a couple of Cocoon A filters off of eBay since sadly they don't produce them anymore and just modified it in the same way as I did with the K&F system. Now I have a super cool small system for my smaller lenses up to a front filter size of 62 millimeters. So now I have a small ND uh, filter system that I can switch super fast for my small MFT lenses and for my big full frame and APS-C lenses. I hope that one day maybe a gear manufacturer sees this video and decides to make the system by themselves since I think it's a great system. And I'm not a professional gear maker. This was a labor of love because I wanted to have the perfect variable ND filter system that I can switch out as fast as possible and with a secure mechanical connection. If a uh, manufacturer decides to make the system, they can contact me anytime, I will gladly help and if they make that, I would buy that immediately. I for one am happy now. I have my great mirrorless camera that can record an awesome codex and has awesome internal image stabilization and I have a variable ND filter to make sure I stay at the 180 degrees when it comes to shutter. And I hardly miss, I, no, I mean, I don't miss internal ND filters at all. The system works so fast and it works on any camera I want to use. So I'm not limited by the fact that the camera has internal NDs or not. So that's it from me. I hope uh, this uh, video was useful to you. Maybe you want to build the solution for yourself. You now know how to do that. And if you want to know more about it, please feel free in the comments down below. I will gladly answer them. And if you like this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And I hope you have a nice day and create something extraordinary.